Get a mixing bowl with a stand mixer or a hand mixer if you don't have one. Chuck in about 125 grams of butter. Then add half a cup granulated sugar and half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Now we want to beat this until it's pale and fluffy. Now get two egg yolks, add them and just mix them in. Now add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of rum extract. Then add two thirds of a cup of eggnog. Now just mix this on low. Now add about anywhere from half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. An equal amount of ground cinnamon. So if you put in half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, put in half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I get about two and a quarter cups of self-raising flour. While this is on low, add it slowly until it's all added. I'll just get the mixture. About the size of anywhere from one to two tablespoons, depends on how big you want the cookies to be. Just place them about two inches apart. What you want to do is preheat your oven to about 175 degrees Celsius, which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these should take about, about 12 to 15 minutes. Now you want to put them on the lower shelf. Uh, don't put them on the top. Now just leave them on here for about 10 to 15 minutes just to cool and set a little. Then transfer them to a wide rack or something and let them cool completely. Now get a large mixing bowl, put in two cups of powdered sugar, icing sugar, confectionery sugar. Same thing, different name. Then add about 60 to 70 grams of room temperature butter. Then add just a little bit, maybe about half a teaspoon of rum extract. About three tablespoons of eggnog. You can always add a little more once you've mixed this if you think it needs to be not as thick. So for this I'm just going to use a hand mixer because I'll get a better consistency but you don't have to. Get your cookies, get the frosting, put it over the top, however much you want, however thick you want it. Now you can either leave as is or you can sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg over the top, which is what I like to do. And just serve up now, or you can put this in the fridge to let the frosting set for about 10 minutes. Either way, it's going in your stomach, so it doesn't really matter. Simple cooking, simple cooking.